What's going on Aries? Welcome to your reading for the middle of November 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading Aries, we're going to take a look at your past, present, and future energies here. We're also going to clarify the cards as we move along to get even more information. So keep in mind Aries that this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you, leave behind the ones that do not resonate with you. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that this reading can reach all the Aries people that it needs to. The more people that like, comment, and share the video, the more YouTube pushes it out. And that also helps me grow this channel. So without further ado, Aries, let's go ahead and do four major shuffles and really pull the energy for those of you watching this reading for mid-November 2021. As always, I want to thank the angels the interdimensional beings and spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Aries. Middle of the month messages for the sign of Aries, please. Middle of the month messages for the sign of Aries, please. Middle of the month messages for the sign of Aries, please. Let's go ahead and make sure all these cards are in view for you, Aries. Looking pretty interesting so far. Wow. Okay, so Aries, let's go ahead and start up top here. This top row is represented by your recent past energy. We have the Page of Wands, the Two of Wands, and also the Empress for your recent past. So I see a lot of like kind of gearing up for a certain journey here. You have the Page of Wands, which is all about travel, having fun. You guys may have been kind of like letting loose, really planning. I see a lot of you guys though, honestly, it's almost like you're using your intuition as to where you need to go next in life. The Page of Wands, the Two of Wands, you know, utilizing your fire, your spiritual energy, your life force energy to really prepare for a journey ahead. And you see how these two cards are kind of facing each other, Aries. So I see a combination of feminine and masculine energy to kind of get you where you need to go here. A lot of planning, um, but also having fun in the planning. What's coming through for a lot of you guys actually is like, it seems like you're going about the process of manifestation from a certain different place than you've been in the in the way past. I almost get like a playful energy and that's the most powerful energy you can manifest from. So for a lot of you out there listening to this in your recent past, I feel like you've discovered that manifestation is about having fun with what you want to manifest. It seems like that's what's on your mind here. Abundance here, the Empress, Nine of Pentacles. And you know, sometimes when you take out a journal and you like script your future and you write down, this is what I want to experience. It can come from a place of like desperation and neediness i see you guys really understanding how the universe works and its universal principles and really utilizing it to your benefit here you also have the empress card here for your recent past so some of you may be dealing with a partner right a feminine partner that um, is your queen like someone that you some sort of feminine presence that you can rely on in your life here that encourages you to accomplish your goals but for a lot of you Aries this is your own energy here this is you tapping into the abundance of life right you see how the, the water is flowing in the background of this empress here and I see you guys realizing like it's almost like you've been gearing up for a journey knowing that if I want something I am abundant I can get it here um, so it seems like a really great energy so we're going to clarify in a second but Let's move on to um, your current general energy here for mid-November. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and also the Knight of Cups. So I really feel like you guys are tapping into your feminine energy here. This doesn't matter whether you're a man or a, fem or a, a woman or whatever you are. I see a lot of feminine abundant energy. The Nine of Pentacles is all about an energy of kind of like um, doing things on your own, knowing that you're solid like in and of yourself here. Now, the High Priestess is your card, is the centerpiece to your nine card spread, which some say 
is the most important card um, in your reading here. So this is this is a time for you for mid-November of really going within and I feel like uncovering the secrets of what you want to experience here. I feel like it's a recalibration of your desire of realizing that whatever I want, I can get it. But it seems like there's some sort of secret that needs to be uncovered here. I feel like the secret is... Um, you know, it could have to do with a lot of different things, but I feel like it's how you're going to manifest things. You're going to do it from a, a, a space of grace, knowing that you can already have what you want. And then you have this Knight of Cups here energy for the present moment here for mid-November. So I definitely see you guys getting an offer from someone. The Knight of Cups is someone who wants to be with you. And it's interesting that this would come right underneath the Empress card here. So this is, I mean, look at the abundant energy. It's such a great energy here for you for mid-November Aries. I see a lot of you almost going within and kind of like asking yourself, is this offer coming in something that I want to create? Because I'm going to be honest, like all these cards are very individualistic in nature, right? We have the nine of pentacles by herself. We have the two of wands by themselves. Like all these, it's almost like you're in a position of like solitude and really like you utilizing that hermit energy with the magician to get what you want here. So I see a lot of like independence. And so you're almost going to have to make a choice about whether you want to let this person in. Um, others of you already in a relationship though, I see it kind of like rekindling a love spark. So no matter where you're at here, Aries, you have options in love. Um, but I really feel like you guys are gearing up for some sort of manifestation journey here to like be more abundant and like independent kind of, I, I see a lot of you guys learning to be independent. Okay. But also interpersonally still working with people in a graceful way. And then for your immediate future here, Aries, you have a lot of, um, kind of like really going with the plans that you've made in the recent past. You have the Emperor, you have the Seven of Swords and the Magician here. So the Emperor to the Magician here is like for a long time in mid-November, even before mid-November, you guys have been plotting, planning, like trying things out. When it comes to the end of November here, or like the end of mid-November, I see you guys putting your plans into action, knowing that you've laid a, a vibrational foundation for new love, for new spiritual downloads. You know, the Emperor card is all about having discipline, so I really see you guys advancing on your quest here. It's almost like the hero's journey where you, you may have had to be in a period of learning and setting goals in a positive way. Now it's time for action, though, in your, in your recent in your uh, future here. You also have the Seven of Swords, the Magician. So this is going about manifesting whatever it is you want, whether it be new love in a sneaky way, right? The Seven of Swords could indicate some sort of deception going on. It's interesting that that's right below the High Priestess here. So whoever this lover that's coming in for you, Aries, I would just say be a little bit careful um, because you know what they say with this magician card is like, be careful what you ask for. I feel like you guys are asking for something. It's finally going to come in in the form of a new relationship, but then almost you kind of having to be like, okay, well, I have to have a clear boundary with this person. You know, it's kind of a, it's really an interesting energy, but like ultimately whatever it is that you guys want, whatever you're planning, you have a lot of this fire energy, page of wands, two of wands, magician, emperor. It's like, utilizing the feminine and the masculine to get what you want. So I hope this is resonating with you, Aries. Let's go ahead and really get into your reading now um, and start clarifying some of these cards. So let's go ahead and clarify this page of wands here. Um, this could be a relationship developing for some of you, by the way. The page of wands may be an individual in your life that's kind of like you're looking at, you see how these figures are looking at each other. So this could be a love thing that advances into the Knight of Cups in, in terms of an offer. But let's go ahead and clarify this page of wands. Why is this page of wands here um, for Aries people out there? Okay, so the Page of Wands is clarified by the Harmony card. So once again, I feel like it's you learning how to work within the realm of this time space reality to manifest what you want doing so with grace and harmony it's like setting your goals knowing what you want to experience and then being harmonious the ten of cups here for a lot of you though honestly the ten of cups to the page of wands you're meeting you, you've recently met someone in your recent past who you know you have a lot of chemistry with right the page of wands to the to the harmony card there isn't i'm getting the feeling now that this page of wands is, is a certain individual that you're kind of looking at like hmm do i want to take this offer because i feel like it is going to progress into an offer here that you're then going to have to really dive deep into so the harmony to the page of wands wonderful energy here aries i feel like you, you you got your sights set on someone here that could eventually evolve into your own empress here like a life partner 
So really powerful. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that Empress here. Tell me more information about this Empress card for Aries in the recent past. Tell me more about this Empress card. Okay, the Empress is clarified by the Beyond Illusion card here. So I get the feeling of like just believing in abundance here, right? A lot of you guys may have been in an illusion that I can't get what I want, I can't be abundant, I can't manifest an Empress even, right? There's some sort of like deep illusion that you're using your feminine power with the High Priestess to see beyond. And I feel like for a lot of you, it has to do with manifestation and even this person. I feel like there's a lot of you though you're kind of like probing this one person whoever this page of wands is that evolves into the knight of cups here it's almost like you're trying to see is this person's who they say they are okay because you have a lot of options the high priestess is the centerpiece to your reading so overall it's like you're in a state of harmony but you're still probing you're still trying to see if someone really is who they say they are here so let's clarify this high priestess card for you why is this card here in the present moment for mid-november for you aries Okay, so we have the laziness card popping out here. Um, this could indicate spiritual bypassing. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you're done with being lazy. Like you're you're digging in into yourself here about like realizing like why am I apathetic? Why do I not take action? So there's almost like a certain mystery about your life here, Aries, in mid-November, where for some reason you might get stuck in the planning phase. So the high priestess is all about uncovering the deeper knowing. The, the feminine wisdom that only you can know about why your life feels like it's on hold. A lot of you guys may be in a feeling of um, like stagnancy, like you want more, and then still pushing away people that want to come into your reality here. And it's interesting how the laziness card is just kind of staring at this Knight of Cups that's going in the opposite direction. So I do sense that there, there's like there's a certain sense of self-sabotage that you guys are going to like clear up and be harmonious with yourself here. Um, and also the laziness card is turned away from this abundance. So there could be some sort of hot side hustle that you guys are going to be getting into. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups though. I really feel like this Knight of Cups is related to the Page of Wands, like in the form of the same person, like kind of graduating and experience with you. So let's see, why is the Knight of Cups here for your present moment? Um, a lot of you are going to be receiving a love offer from this harmonious person. But still, like, you're trying to screen them out for some reason. You're like, I'm not sure if this person is the right one for me. But since it's next to the laziness card, you might be rejecting the very person that could change your life here, Aries. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Aries? You have a lot of emotional healing. Water, suit of water. Let's see, why is the Knight of Cups here? Could be connecting with a fire sign or a water sign for some of you. You have the totality card here. So there's going to be someone who makes you a complete offer. The totality card is all about not being halfway, not being stuck. So someone sees that like both of you are looking at each other in a harmonious position. Someone's going to make an offer you to hear offer to you here Aries for some of you this could be you offering your hand to someone else in love but the knight of cups is all about movement information messages and love so combine that with the totality card I feel like the reason why the high priestess and the beyond illusion are here is because like you're almost really gonna have to dive deep because things are happening quick with this one individual whoever this page of wands is things are accelerating and happening quick and you're almost gonna have to decide like do I want to give up some of my independence to go with this person or not? So it's interesting energy. I feel like ultimately you guys are going to say yes. But let's clarify this magician card for you, Aries. Why is this magician card for you here in your immediate future from as it relates to mid-November? Definitely going on the manifestation journey, knowing you have everything you need to create what you want. Why is this magician card here? Seven of Swords to the Magician could be a sneaky energy using magic to get what you want. I sense it's in love and light, though. Make sure it is. Okay, so the Magician card is clarified by the Rebel card. So it's interesting the Emperor would come out again. In this Osho Zen Tarot deck, the Rebel is uh, known as the Emperor here. So there's definitely something about you taking your power back, being 
like breaking yourself free from any sort of chains i feel like it's it's like almost like letting it land with this person almost like for a while like once again the priestess high priestess of the laziness card you guys have probably been rejecting offers or not really putting yourself in a position to get a love offer i feel like the magician to the rebel card it's like you guys breaking a, breaking free from any sort of like waiting and really going for it here so i see you guys breaking free from any sort of like thing you've been stuck in like illusion so i mean it's looking really good here aries let's just clarify the seven of swords as well why is the seven of swords here um for aries people for the immediate future you may have to walk away from something interesting this would be right underneath the laziness card as well I see you guys just really knowing what you want and finally going for it, right? The, the emperor to the emperor here, masculine, knowing boundaries. This is what I want. This is what I've planned. Um, now I'm activating that law of attraction, right? But let's see. Why is the seven of swords here for Aries? Okay, so we have the nothingness card. This is like the hierophant card. So I feel like you guys stepping away from any sort of mental like deception here. The Hierophant in this card is all about being Zen, being one with the moment, understanding that within nothingness is also contained everything. So there's a stepping away from any sort of like deception or right? any sort of illusion. I feel like you guys really coming back into touch with your soul, knowing that the soul is infinite, the soul can create exactly what it wants. So be open to this love offer Aries here for you. Now what we're gonna do here is also just pull some Oracle cards. This is gonna be a message from your angels, but looks like it's gonna be a super abundant time in mid-November for you Aries. Um, let's just get some advice from your angels and spirit guides relating to your situation here in mid-November. What does spirit have to say to you here, Aries? Let's see. What messages does spirit have for Aries here? What messages does spirit have for Aries here? Okay, so we have the unbound card. This says releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So there may very well be something that you guys have to rebel against, some sort of illusory relationship keeping you stuck. Because unbound is all about moving forward into the new, releasing soul patterns. Once again, it could have to do with this pattern of being lazy and being like a refusal to even entertain the offer of other people. Someone who you're a really good match with is going to make you a total offer here for mid-November, Aries. So unbound be open to it here is really what that's saying for me and then you have this keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors are here with you so know that you're divinely protected as you move along this manifestation journey you are certainly protected here aries so i hope this reading resonates for you aries if it did and you want more information on your specific situation feel free to book a personal reading with me you can find that in the description box of the video you find that those readings are much more specific and tailored to your situation so if this resonated with you and you want more information go ahead and, and book a session but with that being said aries i appreciate all you guys and i'll see you on your next reading have a great mid-november